Welcome to Vet Inspired. Today, we're gonna to talk about five different toxins that can affect your cat. The first one we're gonna talk about is lilies. Now, with lilies, the entire plant is actually toxic to cats all the way down to the water in the vase. So if any part of the plant is ingested, your cat can actually go into kidney failure in less than three days. While this toxin is bad for cats, it does not cause the same concern for dogs. And actually, if your dog ingests the toxin, it usually only causes some minor stomach issues. So what are the signs? The signs are typically depression, vomiting, drooling, and even a loss of appetite. And if your pet has ingested any part of the lily, it is important to take them to your veterinarian as soon as you find out. The treatment typically requires hospitalization for multiple days, blood work multiple times, and IV fluids with supportive care. The next toxin we're going to cover is rat poison. Does your cat like to hunt? Well, rat poison doesn't just affect cats when they eat the poison. It can also affect them if they actually eat the animal that has consumed the poison. So if a rat has previously eaten rat poison and then your cat hunts that rat, your cat can be affected. So what will happen if your cat eats rat poison? Well, the most common one will actually cause bleeding and they will bleed internally and they may even bleed externally through their nose and eyes and stuff like that. Your, the clinical signs is your cat can actually become weak. They might have a decrease in their appetite. They can start coughing due to bleeding inside their lungs and you'll notice pale gums. The sad part is they can ultimately pass even without any clinical signs, so you may not even know that they're bleeding internally. So how is your cat treated for rat poison? Well, you're going to have to take them to a veterinarian as soon as possible. They may induce vomiting, they may administer medication, and your cat might end up needing blood transfusion. They also might require a few days stay at the emergency clinic. The next toxin we're going to talk about is essential oils. And while many people love to have essential oils in their home, many people also need to understand that they are toxic to cats and they can be toxic both orally and topically. Essential oils are typically metabolized by the liver and cats unfortunately lack the essential enzyme to metabolize them. So the higher the concentration of the essential oil, the greater the risk they're at. But the big question is which ones are actually toxic? Well, to name a few, it would be eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil, cinnamon oil, peppermint oil, sweet birch, and there are much more. Your cat can have some drooling, vomiting, and they even can have bradycardia, which is also known as a low heart rate. And unfortunately, some cats can actually go into liver failure because of it. So if you're using a diffuser, many people think that this cannot cause any issues, but unfortunately it does. And when you use a passive diffuser, cats can still be affected and they can actually get respiratory irritation. You'll see them having fast breathing and even wheezing and sometimes coughing. If you're using an active diffuser, the droplets can actually be absorbed through the cat's skin and can create the same clinical signs as a passive diffuser, but they can also have some tremors and some wobbliness. The next toxin we're going to talk about is Tylenol. Tylenol is over-the-counter pain control medication that people use but unfortunately it can be very toxic to cats and dogs. So cats are extremely sensitive to pain medication in general, so giving them over-the-counter Tylenol can actually cause their red blood cells to have a decrease in their ability to carry oxygen, and then they can also develop liver damage. So what will you see if your cat ingests Tylenol? Well, they can become depressed, weak, they can have tachycardia, which is a high heart rate, and even vomiting. Sometimes you'll even notice that their gums will have a bluish color to them and they can even develop a chocolate brown color on their gums too, which is from the red blood cells not being able to carry enough oxygen to the tissues. Unfortunately, liver damage can, damage can also take about a week to develop. The last thing we're going to cover is glow sticks. Now glow sticks are so much fun and especially for children, but they do contain DBP. And this is a clear, sometimes it can be yellow oil that actually has a bitter taste. So what happens if your cat bites into a glow stick? Well, thankfully it is not actually toxic, but it can form some dramatic and significant signs. And unfortunately, because cats are continuous groomers, 
they can always ingest more while they're cleaning themselves. So what will your cat show? Your cat can have some drooling and gagging, and if it gets in your cat's eyes, it can actually lead to a burning sensation. Now, while this isn't the entire list of toxins for cats, it is important to know that if you feel your cat has ingested something that is not appropriate, to call ASPCA Pet Poison Control, and I'll put the number down in the description of this video. You can also call your veterinarian, but they may redirect you to the pet poison control at that point. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so every time I drop a video, you get a notification.